Concur. Concur. So we're taking out the tip of his cossacks, which is called a cossagectomy. And the cossacks is the tailbone. There's really two major reasons why you take out the uh, tip of the tailbone. One is for pain. Um, it used to be, well, it, if somebody has a bad disc in the lower back, like at L5S1, that can radiate pain down to the cossacks. And in the old days, they used to cut the tip of the cossacks off for that. So they cut the tip of the cossacks off for degenerative disc disease of the back. That's not something we do anymore because it doesn't really work. Um, the most common reason is for an abnormality of the cossacks. And in this case, he injured his cossacks in the past and it's poking out as opposed to going in. So it's difficult to sit and things like that. So he has requested that we take it off. There is a conservative treatment policy that we follow that has failed. And so today we're going to remove the cossacks. I can feel the cossacks and then there's a Y-like notch on either side of it. And typically, we're going to remove the cossacks up to that Y. So we make an incision kind of to the side of the cossacks. You don't want to put the incision over the top of bone. And then we go down. Connecting this cossacks to the pelvis is a very strong ligament. And so we have to be careful going through the ligament. That's where most complications occur. Underneath the ligament is the rectum. So if you don't go carefully enough, through that ligament, if you just poke through it and use the energy to get through that ligament, you're going to go into the uh, rectum itself. Then we wind up having to do a, like a colostomy or something like that. Who wants to do a colostomy? So nobody wants to do that today. OK. Not me. Maybe next time. Do we have some type of a retractor that I could use? Just a, a uh, just self retainer of some type, yeah. I'm going to cut back on some of this bleeding if I can get the suction there. Okay, there. Try to get this bleeding. I think I have some up underneath this. Can you get that? Thank you. Okay, that's most of it. Up at the top of the incision here, I think I have this focused, is where the bone is. So I kind of go down to the bone up there in the notch.
And then you have like a hemostat. Let's see if I'm focused on it. It looks like I am focused. So that's bone right there. And then I can feel the notch right here. So I'm gently kind of coming around that notch. Just gently. And there you can see I kind of tore some of that fascia or ligament around the tailbone as opposed to just like going straight through it. to get to there. And so I'm going to open a little more of that fascia. I'll cut that a little bit. Okay. So now we're up underneath the Cossacks and there's a space under there, you can just follow that all the way around. Okay, now we got to clean over the top of it some. Okay, that's some pickup and this.
around it pretty much. Where'd my little hemostat go? Trying to pretty much make sure I have it detached before I cut it off because I don't want to leave a little piece of it in there, which might irritate him. And then he would be mad at me. I don't think so. I think I have all of it just a little bit on the tip right there. Okay, I think that's everything. Okay. Now we'll, do you have like a pin field three maybe? Let's see if I'm in focus. I think I'm in focus there. The most curved one you got. Is that the most curved? Okay. And then what do we have to cut that with? Maybe like... That might be a little small. Yeah, that's too small. Too small. Yeah. Small? We have a bigger one in tool stock. Uh, I believe it's that one on the one right up on the Let's see, how about uh may have cut it with just that. Okay. Dude, it looks like, I gotta see if I'm in focus. Mm. Let's see. So there you can see it kinda looks like it's loose. Now we gotta see if we can get it all out of there. Maybe we may have to use like a big single action or something to. Mm -hmm. A single action around here. It's on table. It's on
Yeah, what did I do that? Penfield three. It's just so friable. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Do you have like a little sin retractor? Maybe you could pull that skin back and protect me a little bit. Perfect. Just don't want to burn the skin there. Skin on this side. I really think that slope down, we got it past the slope, I think. So I think that should do it. I might. And then do we have some bone wax just to. Yes. smooth out that edge. You want to use bone wax on the two years too? Uh yeah that might be good. Well I'll tell you what, no I'll just put it on with my hand. Okay. Don't want any sharp edges. Yeah, 2 l vicryl, and then we'll use some like 4 l monocryl and some Dermabond. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to use a remnant or? Uh, interrupted. I think that looks good. Okay, so this is the bone wax. So I'm just coating the edges with some bone wax, which is uh, designed to keep new bone from forming on the top of it so we don't get another spike of bone. And then also cuts down on bleeding Okay. 
Okay, I think that looks good. I don't feel any high points there. Okay, I think we'll close. And then we'll take the last piece where we just put the third snip. Uh, just some AdSense. Okay. I'll take those ones I had back. Okay, well. Let me see if I can see in there. There it is. Okay. That looks good. And I'm going to cut this back a little bit. You have some scissors. Thank you. Obviously, I don't want to get so deep that I uh, sew the rectum into my incision. Is this a pop off? Yes, sir. Okay. I realize that now. I do have a, a runner here that I just have. Do you want to run over it? No, this is good. I wanted pop offs, but I just. Do you like that? No, I like pop offs. Okay, there you go. You know, I guess we could inject some Marcane in there. He wants to go home, so we'll. Marcane with? Yeah, let's do a little Marcane with. Can I get a point of two please? Yeah, one more, one more there.
looks pretty good. Leave a tail on that about a quarter of an inch. Some derma bond and then like telpha uh, tegaderm, yes. Okay. can leave a yeah tail there too. And we can clean that and some derma bond. So let's see. Just so you can get an idea, the size of it, it's about it gives you an idea how long it is. Okay. This is some local anesthetic. And then, yeah, we can put the derma bond. Super glue. That was it. Okay, what do you think? Another life saved. Now he should be able to jump tall buildings as long as he stays away from kryptonite. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, sir.